Miriam is a beautiful little girl who, after she was born, her muscles were very loose. And those muscles also included the muscles that are involved in swallowing and eating. When we came in here, Miriam was not able to actually drink a lot of milk. She was very poor, a lack of tone. Someone that has low tone, their muscles at rest are much more elongated. So when they need to contract, it requires a lot more effort. Miriam came in with very low tone. She had very limited movement of her arms and legs. She wasn't really turning her head back and forth. She wasn't really reaching for toys. She wasn't interacting with her environment at all. Miriam first came to us. She was probably taking only about 10% of her feedings by mouth. And that had to be done very carefully so she didn't aspirate milk into her lungs. Blightdale is very unique in that we do have a specialized feeding program here. All of our clinicians are trained to work with medically fragile children. When a family first enters parenthood and they have a newborn, it's innate to want to nourish and feed their child. And if that is, if that comes with challenges, that creates a lot of stress between the parent and the infant. And I really love providing relationship-based care and rebuilding that trust between parent and infant. Marisa helped me with the baby. We started with the baby by not able to drink, and she actually takes the time and uh, working with us. The parents were a little apprehensive surrounding feeding. So with the hands-on training and with the education, and explaining to the parent why we are doing what we're doing helps build that trust relationship between clinician and parent. The parent has confidence once they know how to read their infant. So in training the parent with how to read their infant's cues to know when they're undergoing any stress, signs of fatigue, signs of aspiration, they then feel empowered to know when, when should we stop, when should we give our child a break and listen to them. So once we uh, gave the parents that knowledge, they felt way more confident feeding their baby because then they, they knew what to look for. She's now she's able to drink uh, uh, almost the entire bottle of uh, her milk. Then uh, we had the, uh, the occupational therapist working with her, Michelle. Like she started with the uh, like placing that on the left and the right. My job as Miriam's occupational therapist isn't just to help Miriam get stronger. It's also to work with her parents to help them understand what they can do when I'm not there. So they're learning all these techniques and they're carrying it through when I'm not with her. And I think the main reason why she is where she is now, she has progressed so much because of her family. Blythedale provides a ability to collaborate between parents and the caretakers. So then when it's time to go home, they are fully trained in terms of how to take care of the baby. And in this case, how to provide exactly the amount of milk that she needs at this stage of her life. And that takes time and takes reassurance. If you guys are helping with, the, uh, with every single thing for your baby and our toddlers, this is the right place to, to bring your child in. The moment you come in, all the way to get this church, you're gonna be treated with the kind and respect.